OK, welcome. So what we have here is determining uh, not the degree, but just the, the end behavior of our polynomial function. So again, remember, when we're looking at this, uh, all we're going to be concerned about is two different points. One, the degree, and the leading coefficient. So we can say the leading coefficient equals negative 7, and the degree equals 3. Make sure we know that the degree, because it's in descending order, and 3 is our largest exponent of our polynomial. Well, since our degree is odd, right? we know that we're only going to have two different, we have two different options for our end behavior. It's either going to go rise um, right and fall left, or it's going to rise left and fall right. But then we look at our leading coefficient, and we know that that is negative. So since that's negative, we know that it has to rise left and fall right, as this is the end behavior of a negative function. Now remember. I'm not graphing what this is. I'm just going with the end behavior. I can really actually, what happens in between the end behavior is really irrelevant. Um, all we need to know is this is going to be true for all odd degrees and all negative uh, leading coefficients. We'll have this end behavior, which is rise left, fall right. Um, yeah, so I'll leave, it, I'll leave it like that. I think that's good. Thanks. I'll make anything. 